So vertebrafen's use in current practice. Jordanian hair transplant surgeon Dr. Barguthi's innovative experiment using vertiporfin has come with some exciting results recently, as of recording this video November 10th of 2023. So these exciting results come after 15 months of using vertiporfin on his subjects. So let's do a quick overview of what's going on. The recent developments in the application of vertiporfin for hair restoration, particularly the follicular unit extraction and the follicular unit transplantation procedures, have marked a significant milestone in the field. With the latest update from Dr. Barghuthi showcasing 15-month results of ongoing trials with vertiporfin, the medical community has observed a substantial leap forward in the potential of this treatment. These findings disseminated through the Hair Restoration Network forums underscore vertiporfin's promising role in improving hair transplant outcomes. Dr. Berguthi administers vertiporfin immediately after FUE and FUT hair transplant procedures, capitalizing on its ability to heal scars and encourage hair regrowth in the donor areas. The objective is to create a substantial, possibly infinite, source of donor hair. The 15-month trial results have revealed that a significant contrast exists in hair regrowth between the control and treated groups, suggesting that a transformative impact of vertiporfin is possible in hair restoration. A key highlight from Dr. Barkhuthi's report is the remarkable appearance of the treated areas, with some looking virtually untouched, indicating extensive hair regrowth in the donor region, and again, that donor region has vertiporfin applied to it. Now, the level of regrowth, particularly if it consistently reaches or exceeded 50%, could effectively double the size of the donor area a prospect that has been termed as potentially curative for hair loss. Now, these results are without a doubt very encouraging. In fact, it does prompt more research in this direction to see how viable vertiporfin is. But nevertheless, the medical community must maintain a degree of cautious optimism. Now, the anticipation is that by the end of 2024, an increasing number of hair restoration specialists will integrate vertiporfin into their practices. And with this wider adoption of vertiporfin in the hair transplant surgery community, both patients and medical practitioners will start to become aware of this particular use of, you know, vertiporfin. And we can finally see with more subjects, that is, whether or not this is feasible. If it starts to be the case that the hairs that regrow in the donor area extraction sites are actually feasible hairs, normal, like the hairs that were taken out, then again, this would just show how much of a game-changing thing this would be for hair transplants. Now, there's another hair transplant surgeon who's doing a parallel study of sorts with vertiporfin. This is Dr. Bloxham, and his experiments with vertiporfin on FUT scars have also shown initial success, adding to the growing body of evidence that vertiporfin's effectiveness in scar mitigation and YAP protein inhibition may find itself very useful in hair transplant procedures. So, looking at Dr. Barkuthi's one and a half year update results, we can see that in the left site of this particular patient where an FUE procedure was done, this site was treated with vertiporfin at 0.4 milligrams per centimeter squared, and the right site served as a control area and it wasn't treated with vertiporfin at all. The site that was treated with vertiporfin, 0.4 milligram, you can see that there are more hair follicles there, like there's there's more hair follicles there, there's more density in that particular area. And this is a sign that the hair follicles regenerated out of the extracted follicular unit sites. That is amazing. So we have to wait and see what will these hairs become. Are they vellus hairs? And I don't think they're vellus hairs at all because I'm looking at the hairs themselves right now. If you're not looking at the screen, maybe I'll try to zoom in or something like that in post-production. But these are clearly terminal hairs. They're thick and wide. They're dark colored. These are terminal hairs. So potentially vertiporfin is reintegrating these hairs when they come back, not as vellus hairs. No, 
as strong terminal hairs, which is good for us because that's what we care about. Up close, you can see the difference between the control region and the test region. And guys, it's night and day in terms of difference. The test region, where 0.4 milligram of vertiporfin was applied immediately after extraction of follicular unit extraction, you can see in that area there's more hair follicles versus in the other area you can see clear scar tissue that remains. You don't see any hair follicles coming out of those particular areas. This is exciting. This is very exciting. Looking at Dr. Bloxham's trial of vertiporfin, we can see the same thing, right? You have this patient who's been treated with a particular dose of vertiporfin, and in that particular area, hair is coming about, it's coming out. You know, this is pretty exciting. There's minimal scarring that's taking place, and this goes to show that, yes, we are getting new hair that's coming out of these particular donor areas. So yeah, I don't want to rage on and talk about this for too long. I just want to make my subscribers and other people who come across this video aware that there's exciting research coming about and right now we can be cautiously optimistic about vertiporfin and what that means in terms of hair transplants. So the, the evidence right now is saying, hey, keep looking in this direction, keep researching how to inhibit the yes-associated proteins, the YAP protein signaling to the fibroblasts to mitigate scarring after a FUE or FUT treatment. That's where the evidence is telling us, keep researching this area because right now things look pretty promising. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video and remember if you want to support this channel you can look at my buy me a coffee link or become a channel member for as little as two dollars a month and I do do hair loss consultation services if you want to request my non-clinical experience and what I would do in a situation like yours. So anyway, thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.